All right, guys. We're playing Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Oh God, that looks. Unreal Engine 4. <sighs> this game contains flashing lights, blah blah blah. I don't have epilepsy and or seizures, so I'm good. Oh. Continue. This is a new game. I haven't played it yet. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences available. By completing these scenarios, the? more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. So stay a while and have a good time. And remember, Despite the temporary horror you may experience, this is a completely controlled environment and you aren't in any real danger. Fazbear Entertainment not responsible for real danger. Please make a selection from the virtual menu. Alright. I'm gonna eat more chocolate. It's good. Showtime. Replay title. There was a title? Oh. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge of your seat virtual reality experience? This is cool, but it seems kind of scary. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. And while it's true that some stories associated with our oh. name were loosely based on That's actual golden events, night. That's nightmare the majority of them were total fabrications from the That's mind the of a complete lunatic. Uh, but we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha, Scott? Ha, ha. That's why we that's have recreated playtime. many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies oh, that that's you've been too. fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game, in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you, as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays, so sit back and enjoy a few scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's you acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transfers, real world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. All right. I want to do something else instead of FNAF. Parts and service? Let's do that. Sounds interesting. <sighs> I have goosebumps. Welcome back to Parts Ooh. and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. I hate this. Restart. <sighs> Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's get great job. Deposit the left eye and well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When do well done, you now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note.
Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. Thank God. See you next time. You scared me half to death. Oh my god, that was scary. This sounds awful a lot like Marion. Ooh. Oh. It sounded an awful lot like Marionette's theme, and that uh, is frightening. Hmm? I'm gonna go do parts and service too. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Oh. All I did was throw a single piece of pizza away. Oh. That was Welcome scary. back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Oh no! It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant Grade Chemi Spray to Chica's exterior. Press the button under the hanging canister to activate the Chemi Spray. Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Stop watching me. Okay. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as it return the cupcake oh. to Chica's plate. Place the cupcake on the plate. Great job. Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Delicious. See you next time. Oh my god. Why did that move? Oh, I'm so scared. How about the prize counter? Uh... Oh. oh, it doesn't bounce.
Oh, it's thirteen dollars for the DLC. I might get it later. Not today, though. All right. I think this is going pretty well. I'm doing pretty good. <sighs> Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe, shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Oh. Well, thank you guys for watching. That's it for today.